Hi, I'm Dr. Shah. I was the National Lecture Competition winner in 1989, and I'm the Maths Master at Maths School. Now, ready for a new way of doing maths? Now, there are three different cases in which we'd need to calculate the median. The first case is if we have a list of data. The second case is if we have a table of ungrouped data. So that would probably be discrete data, something like um, the um, number of times you went to the cinema or number of seats in a car, things like that, things which can't be 3.12 or something like that. And then three, a table of grouped data. And the method we'd use would be different for each of these. Our second case is when we have a table of ungrouped data. So like this, this might be um, players in a poker tournament and these are the number of wins. So 12 people didn't win any matches, 27 people won one match, 25 people won two matches and so on. So this is a table of data and the method we use to find the median in this case is different. We have to rewrite the table to a cumulative frequency table. So our cumulative frequency table is going to have the same thing on the top, I'll just call it x to abbreviate it, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And at the bottom is going to have cumulative frequency And we use the letter capital F for cumulative frequency. So if you see the letter capital F, you know it's referring to cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency means the running total of the frequencies. So up to here, the frequencies are only 12. But by the time I get to here, I've got to add both of those together. So that's going to be 39. And then now adding that one on, so all three of these, is going to be 64. Adding this one, is going to give me uh, 77 and adding that one on is going to give me 79. So that's my running total of the frequencies, cumulative frequencies. Now this last number in the running total of the frequencies is n, which is in our last example how many pieces of data we had and it makes sense because it's the sum of all of these people and so therefore we know that there were 79 people taking part in that tournament. And as before, to find the median, we want the half n plus oneth value. So if n is 79, 79 plus 1 times a half would give me 80 divided by 2 is the 40th value. So we want to find the 40th value. So we look along these cumulative frequencies until we find the number 40. Now you can see the number 40 isn't in our cumulative frequencies. So do we choose this one here, which is close to 40, but not quite 40, or do we choose this one here, which is way above 40? The answer is, it's not which is closer to 40. If you can't find 40 in your cumulative frequencies, you must look for the next number above 40. So in that case, it would be this number here, above 40, and read up to here to find your median. So in this case, the median is 2.